In this video, we're going to be learning how to calculate the binomial coefficient, as well as see a few techniques to simplify binomial coefficients faster. Let's get started. The binomial coefficient is typically written nr and is equal to factorial n over factorial n minus r times factorial r. Now, let's just remind ourselves of what factorial n actually means. For instance, if we had to calculate factorial 4, then to calculate this, we would actually say this is equal to 4 followed by an exclamation mark, and that equals to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you can go ahead and check, that should equal to 24. Similarly, we could calculate factorial 3, which would equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which equals to 6, or we could calculate factorial 2, which equals to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. We could also calculate factorial of 1, which would just equal to 1. And last but not least, we could calculate factorial of 0, which also equals to 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and box that last result. It's very important. Do remember that factorial of 0 is always equal to 1. It's a very common mistake to think that factorial of 0 equals to 0. It doesn't factorial 0 always equals to 1. Now let's see how we can simplify fractions with factorials. Let's say we were given this factorial 4 over factorial 3. Now one way of calculating this of course would be to write that this equals to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1 and calculating each the numerator and the denominator, that would lead us to 24 over 6, and now simplifying would lead us to 4. That's definitely one method, and it definitely works. Nonetheless, when, when we deal with large factorial numbers, say factorial of 10 over factorial of 7, this is going to be a long task. In other words, we're going to have to do quite a lot of calculations, and we may well make a mistake somewhere. So it's quite important to know a technique for simplifying these a little faster. The key thing I want to draw your attention to here is if you look at these digits here in 4 factorial, well those last three digits are exactly the same thing as factorial 3. What I'm saying here is when I write f factorial 4, this is equal to 4 times factorial 3. In other words, Going back to our fraction, when we wrote factorial 4 over factorial of 3, we could have seen that this is equal to 4 times factorial of 3 over factorial of 3. And now we could simplify that right away. Crossing out the factorial 3's, we'd be left with the answer. This would equal to 4. Now, quite often it won't be as simple as factorial 4 over factorial of 3. It could, the gap between the two numbers could be a little bigger than just 1. For instance, let's say we were given factorial 4 over a factorial of 2. Well, in this case, the trick is to see that this is equal to 4 times 3 times factorial 2 over factorial 2. So, again, we can simplify the factorials here and cross these out and see that we'd simply be left with 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. Now, Let's look at how this is going to be useful when calculating binomial coefficients. I'll just rewrite the formula for binomial coefficients here at the top. Remember, binomial coefficient nr is equal to factorial n over factorial n minus r times factorial r. Now let's look at a few examples. Let's say we had to calculate the binomial coefficient for 3. Well, using this formula here, we can see that that would equal to factorial 4 over factorial of 4 minus 3 times factorial of 3. Simplifying this a bit leads us to factorial 4 over factorial of 1 times factorial of 3. And now we know that factorial of 1 is just equal to 1, so I'm going to go ahead and just cross that out right away. But we also just saw that factorial 4 could be written as 4 times factorial of 3 over factorial of 3. And so now we can see we can simplify this. These factorial 3's cancel out, and we're now left with the answer, which is simply 4. 
Likewise, we may need to calculate the binomial coefficient for 2, in which case this would equal to factorial 4 over factorial of 4 minus 2 times factorial 2. And this would equal to factorial 4 over factorial of 2 times factorial 2. Now, we're going to simplify this by writing the following. We'll write that factorial 4 is the same thing as 4 times 3 times factorial 2 over factorial 2 times factorial 2. And now we can see we can get rid of two of these factorials, one at the bottom, one at the top. And this now leads us to 4 times 3 over 2 times 1. But hopefully you can see that the 4 and the 2 here will simplify, and it's going to leave us with 2 times 3, which will equal to 6. Let's look at a couple more. Let's say we had to calculate binomial coefficient for 1. Well, in this case, using the binomial formula, we would write the following. This equals to factorial 4 over a factorial of 4 minus 1 times factorial of 1, leading us to factorial 4 over a factorial 3 times factorial of 1. Now, once again, we have a factorial of 1 here, so we can just cross that out. And we're now left with factorial 4 over factorial of 3. And using the technique we've already seen, we can write this factorial of 4 as 4 times factorial 3 over factorial of 3. And now you can see, we can cross out these factorials, and we're left with the answer 4. Now let's look at one last one, and we'll look at fact the binomial coefficient 4, 0. Well, in this case, that would equal to factorial 4 over factorial of 4 minus 0 times factorial of 0. Now do remember, factorial of 0 is just equal to 1. So I can actually go ahead and cross that out right now. I'll cross out this 0, and I'm going to be left with the following. That's factorial of 4 over factorial of 4, since 4 minus 0 is 4. And now there's no need to calculate anything here. We have the same factorial at the top as we do on the bottom, therefore this will simply equal to 1. And there you go, that's how we can calculate the binomial coefficient. Remember, this is very important. You need to know how to calculate the binomial coefficient by hand. It is really at the heart of any course on binomial theorems, so make sure you can do it.